Boom. Good evening, guys. How you doing? Uh, it's John Gambling, King Regis. Uh, hopefully you can hear me. Let's get the uh, tech nonsense out of the way first. Can you see me? Can you hear me? But I haven't done much with the overlay, uh, but I have done I have done something with this. Uh, hey, visuals audio good. Oh yeah, the color is going to change. Don't fixate on the color. The colors will be changing. Um, so there you go. The pink is gone. <laughs> Uh, oh, I've frozen. I think I've frozen. Uh, I don't know if I still get sound when I've frozen. I'll assume I do and keep talking, uh, but we'll restart the camera. Boom, there we go. Uh, that's easily fixed. Uh, so, this is me looking at you. Uh, this is me looking at, at my game. Game. Uh, and this is me looking at the chat feed. So, when I do this, I'm reading what you say. Boo! Uh, Isabella Riddle is super excited, and I'm very pleased that you are super excited. Uh, uh, so, uh, yeah, colour's gonna rotate. Colour's gonna be coming in and out. Uh, I've got two Bluetooth lights, one at either side, on different, ro on different colour fade speeds. So, we'll see what happens there. Uh, so look, we've got a little bit of pink on this side, a little bit of blue on that side. Yeah, and I've gone for hair down today. Between you and me, it needs a wash, so don't look too close. It's a little bit greasy, but we can live with it. Hey, Isabel, huge Death Eater fan. Well, just for you, uh, there you go. There's me stopping the Hogwarts Express. Massively for you. There we go, look. Boom. I have a slightly bigger beard than the Death Eater did. Uh, right, I was just trying to work out where I left off the game. Uh, I thought I just needed to resume, but there we go, resume. So I just fed the cat, guys. Uh, oh, I, I, just so you know, I've got one hour, okay? So I've set a timer for one hour, because um, I've got to be up early tomorrow. But I wanted to squeeze one more stream in. I had a really good stream yesterday, and I thought I'd do another one today, make some improvements. Um, huge thanks, to If Kim is here yet, uh, Kim uh, sent me the Real King Regis uh, little uh, awesome name uh, logo, so that's good. And I figured I'd get my banner up behind me. There he is. Oh no, there he is. Yeah, this guy. Um, just fed the cat. Hey, hey, uh, Biza, Biza. Uh, thanks for spreading the word, guys, as well. Um, you know, I, I assume there's a lot of Final Fantasy fans out there who'd be quite interested to see me stream. Um, so it's about trying to let them know, really. Shame if they don't know. Um, uh, but so far, there's only nine. <laughs> only nine people care if I stream. That's okay. Uh, uh, oh, hang on, Facebook pop-ups. Uh, Isabel is hyperventilating. Breathe, Isabel. Okay, listen to my voice. Think about your breathing. Slow it down. Don't breathe too deep. Just smile. Enjoy the moment. We have 55 minutes of me. Um, Isabel, you'll have to try and come along to a Comic Con, and then uh, and then we can high five. Yeah, you can get a. Uh, a little selfie with uh, the train stopping the theater. Uh, boo, 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 boo. So uh, I thought I'd wait, you know, just a few minutes for people to turn up. Um, uh, oh, we've lost one, we're down to eight. That's not disheartening at all. Um, all good, I'm spamming Discord channels now. I don't know what that means, but I kind of can guess what it means. Discord channels. Uh, is it any way to whisper something to you like only you can see? You're asking the wrong person, Isabel. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, I am literally learning this day by day. Bought myself a PlayStation, never had a PlayStation before. Uh, bought myself an Elgato, 
installed it two days ago. Now I'm running OBS, uh, Streamlabs OBS, and I've uh, yeah, I'm now I'm a I'm a streamer, um, but I do not know, uh, I do not know about whispers. Oh, you're in Norway. Well, Norway is gorgeous. Uh, hopefully, one day I will head out to Norway and do a Comic Con in Norway. Uh, I've got America coming up this year and I've got Switzerland so yeah I'm spreading my wings leaving the UK a little bit more with those uh, comic cons taking the power of King Regis and the Death Eater around the world uh, but, but, but I wouldn't worry too much about the numbers on Twitch they tend to come and go but depending on if the person is away for a moment and not talking ah cool that's good to know we're back at nine we're back at nine uh, so Isabel actually role, role plays Voldemort's daughter yeah, me and you, we get on, we get on. Um, but, 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 yes, Chunaka, I just fed the cat. Thank you. Uh, just trying to read some of the some of the messages before we dive into the game. Yesterday we had like half an hour hiatus because I couldn't get the sound to work. And we had to do a whole technical breakdown. It was hilarious. Um, great learning curve. So yeah, uh, what do I do now? So let's let's play some game. Uh, I still, for those who tuned in last night, I still haven't fixed my audio. So I can't hear the audio. So that means I may sing to myself. I can't hear any music from the game, so I can sing to myself to amuse myself. So you may get some random lyrics. Um, oh, so it just moved. Oh well, uh, no one knows who I am. I just wanted you to know that I'm autistic. So yeah, I live and breathe Harry Potter. Hey, fabulous! Everyone's welcome here. Um, so just be ready to help me, uh, Isabel. That's all I all I ask. Keep an eye on me. Uh, I I I fail at the most basic things with the controller. Uh, before buying a PS4 to play Final Fantasy, the last joystick I had was you know the one with the single stick and the red fire button. So it's quite a leap to go from a, a, a single joystick with one fire button to this. So yeah, uh, take it easy on me. Cool, it'd be nice to go normally, it's on the weekend, I'm working some I miss out, yeah. Uh, so, uh, what am I doing with the game? Where am I heading? Uh, I, I have real trouble remembering where I was. I just fed the cat, so that was a side quest, right? And we did the side quest with Sid. So what am I supposed to be, what am I supposed to be achieving now? Do, do, do. If you head back to Hammerhead in the diner, you can get some monster hunt missions. Yeah, yeah, I'm up for a monster hunt mission. I'm just here to get a heart attack. <laughs> Don't do that, Isabel. Don't do that. So, and obviously, if anyone wants to throw any uh, any questions at me about um, Final Fantasy stuff uh, or Harry Potter stuff. Uh, for those who are here for Final Fantasy and don't know about the Harry Potter thing, uh, I was a Death Eater in Deathly Hallows 1, uh, and I'm, if you remember it, if you're a Harry Potter fan, in Deathly Hallows 1 there's a really lovely scene where the Hogwarts Express gets stopped by a, a lone Death Eater standing on the track raising his arm, uh, and that was me. Um, and then I board the train, have a little ding dong with Neville Longbottom, get called a loser, nearly kill him, decide not to, move on. Got an important mission from Voldemort to finish. Um, so yeah, uh, for those Final Fantasy fans who know, know nothing, nothing about me, other than that I was King Regis. Um, uh, yeah, I was also a Death Eater in Harry Potter. Uh, so was I going back to Hammerhead? Is that a quest location? My day has been fantastic. I've been, I had a day out with my mum and my wife. Uh, we went to uh, Mitchellum Priory. And if you want to see the photos, you can go to my Instagram account and have a look, because I posted a load on my Instagram account tonight. Don't go now though, no, 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 don't go now. Uh, but when we finished or tomorrow, go and have a look at um, uh, John underscore Camplin on Instagram, J-O-N, no H, no H, J-O-N underscore Camplin on Instagram. Uh, and you can see some of the lovely photos of my day out today. I've written a long letter to Ivana Lynch and gotten a reply. That's wicked. Yeah, I worked with Ivana um, recently. I did a, a huge medieval slash Harry Potter Comic Con in Germany. 
um, uh, in, so in so Solingen, Solingen, Sch Schlossberg Castle in Solingen. Uh, and she was on the on the guest list, and I was on the guest list, and we did the panel together. Um, in fact, I apologised to her because, uh, in actual fact, just going back to the Harry Potter story, when I stopped the Hogwarts Express, and I had a little ding dong with Neville, and Neville accuses me of looking for Harry Potter, um, uh, and then I walk off. Uh, the fact is, I'm not looking for Harry Potter. I'm looking for Luna Lovegood. If you remember, later on in the film, Luna Lovegood gets kidnapped by Death Eaters uh, to blackmail her father. I'm afraid it was me. So, while I was on a stage with Ivana, I apologised to her for kidnapping her. It's all very lovely. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. Uh, but anyway, so, uh, am I going to a quest location? No, I've done that, haven't I? I've done that, I've done that. Ah, what? I'm going somewhere. Ooh, we've all got it's some very red look. Oh yeah, the, 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 uh, Chana Unicorn. Sorry, you got to excuse me. I'm very dyslexic, so I'm still learning to be able to look at usernames, which are to me just a random gaggle of letters and, and uh, characters, and try and read them. Um, I'm not very good at it. Uh, thank you, dyslexic. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Oh, uh, so Tunaka, I don't know where I went in the end. Um, so busy gabbing uh, that I, I don't know where I'm going. But I, wherever I go, that's where I'm meant to be, I reckon. Um, ba, 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 ba. Oh, good! I'm glad you like the Instagram account. Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to make that my main social media actually. Although I do have twice as many followers on Twitter, I'm trying to migrate them across to my Instagram. But then I now prefer Instagram. There's less noise. It's more focused on the art and the creativity and the imagery and, and obviously for streaming as well. Um, uh, plus now that I, I model a little bit as well, so I'm drifting into a bit of a modeling career. So obviously that works really well for Instagram. So I'm phasing. I'm not phasing out the Twitter, but I'm not pushing the Twitter, and I'm really pushing the Instagram. So, uh, if you want to tell anyone about me, do direct them to my Instagram account. I mean, you can do the Twitter as well, obviously. But uh, oh, I keep getting notifications going out of the box. Uh, Foxy, hey Foxy, welcome to the stream. It's John here. Uh, yes, I am going to be at CooperCon uh, in Birmingham. Oh my yes, I am. They're showing my film. Showing my film. Showing my film three times. Um, uh, yes, this year. Yes, this year. Uh, well, a little hair flip. A little hair flip. Uh, so I found this badge today as well. I haven't worn it for ages. And annoyingly, I can't remember who gave it to me. It was one of my first uh, Final Fantasy events, and I got a lot of gifts. I was a bit overwhelmed. Uh, if you can see that, uh, you, it won't focus on me. But it says, um, it says, Oh, I won't be afraid. No, I won't. You know what it says. Uh, <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Hey, not. Oh no, I don't. Uh, I'm pretty bad. So we should probably concentrate on the game. Can we call it a night and head for the We've got 15 viewers. Uh, if you just joined in, welcome to uh, the Real King Ouija stream here on Twitch. Uh, my name is John Campling. I'm the actor who created King Regis with the mocap that stole my face. Uh, so when you're watching King Regis, that's me. Uh, and incidentally, I'm also Arden Azunia. Think about that, no, you especially that scene in King's Blade, right? Let's go. Awesome. Uh, 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 and if you know any Final Fantasy now fans who are up now and you Indeed. think might want to join this stream and they're on Twitch, go tell them. Go drop them a message. Do them a favour, because uh, we've only got uh, 40, 40 minutes left. So let's try and get up to. Let's get in the twenties. Let's go crazy. Right. Hey, where's this? Where have I arrived? Remember eyeline, you, game, chat. You, game, chat. You, chat. You, chat, game. Oh. Uh, gather information at the Prairie Outpost. Wow, I should probably ask him a question. Quest? Uh, hold on a sec, sir. I found an envelope addressed to my... So, I'm going to go back to the comments as well. Uh, I'm going to volunteer him again. Uh, oh, uh... Dark yes, Fiend... Sir. The headhunter ought to be around Doku. here somewhere. Doku. Mind making one more uh, DFD. What you Yo, DFD. Nice. Welcome. Uh, hello, my king. Well, hello, uh, my subject. Psh, psh. Devil's reject. Yeah. Yeah, I have many, many lookalikes. Many people I look like. 
Uh, and what is your agency, please? I'd love to write to you. Let's get one of your ones. Happy to pay, of course. Uh, yeah, you've got PayPal. Love it. Okay, so currently between agents. Yeah, freelancing it for a little bit. Enjoying the freedom. Uh, so I'll have to get back to you on that. Um, the ones, the Johns, are uh, only really available in person. So I don't make many. And they tend to always sell out when I take them to a convention. So I make 10, I take them to a convention, and they all sell out. So I very rarely have any to send out, unfortunately. But keep following me, Isabel, and you'll see me post about them. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do. So uh, track me down on Instagram or Twitter if you haven't already. Uh, and just tweet me and just remind me that you're Isabel Riddle if you have a different name. Uh, and uh, we can we can talk about John's, etc., uh, etc. Et oh, hey, rating Hyperion. You know who I am. I am honoured, sir. Honoured, or oh, madam. Um, honoured that you know who I am. It's, it's not compulsory to join the stream. Uh, you know, if you're a fan of Final Fantasy and playing Final Fantasy, right? I mean, really badly, really badly. Uh, didn't pay any attention to what this guy said. <laughs> They're all getting a bit miffed with me. You earn 30 wands. Wow. So the John is unique. Uh, I make the John unique. No two are ever the same. Rent a bird. Oh, man, I would have loved to have rented a bird. So I meant to find stuff out here, aren't I? Come on, guys, help me play the game. Who's going to talk to me? That, that guy spoke to me earlier, but I paid no attention. No, he won't talk to me. Yeah, I'll jump in your face. Ah, hello, this guy will chat probably. Stay? No, do we want to stay? I don't want to stay, do I? Wow, a full playthrough of 15 and all the DLCs. Oh, she meant, she meant you. <laughs> well, it does make slightly more sense, though what I said was totally true. Uh, I am failing miserably here to make any progress at all. How do I find anything out? Oh, that guy spoke to me and I, I blew it. Oh, uh, I see a map, I see a map. Some quest destinations are unclear. Explore the area shown on the minimap and locate the target. A treasure map, you reckon? Oh, wouldn't that be sweet? Are we searching for it? It's a hidden treasure it's map. It's a hidden treasure map. So, yes. So, yes. Stay by me. Won't you stay You go to the, the diner or chef there and use talk button. Thanks, Junak. You're always there to save me. Right, I got to lurk. Talk to you all soon. Uh, okay, Foxy. Bye. Uh, enjoy your lurk. So there's this guy here. Go to the di oh, the diner, the diner, the diner, the diner. That's not the diner, John. You goofus. There's the diner crow's nest. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. So that's reminded me uh, when we did when we had the, uh, the the London premiere of Kingsglaive. Um. Oh no, it wasn't the premiere. It was it was for, it was for the launch of the game. I think yeah, for the launch of the game. Uh, Square Enix. I can't remember what the venue was. They had an incredible venue, and they turned part of it into the Crow's Nest Diner. Pretty cool. Uh, I did a little live broadcast. I don't know if you, if any of you were in a cinema. You know, they sh they they streamed it live. They showed the film and streamed it live to a few select cinemas. Um, and uh, there's one in London. There's one up in Hull. There's one in Eastbourne, I think. Um, and then they very briefly they did like a live broadcast, and they very briefly came to me, and I said some nonsense, and then I was gone. But I remember the crowd. They also had some life-size chocobos as well. They were big, man. Uh huh. My background.
I'm just uh, freaking out. I don't want to leave. Welcome to the crow's nest. I'm very quiet. Can I take your order? Anyone else finding me quiet? Happy to tell you about the area. So what's he saying? Nearby havens will be marked on your map. Fine to me. So, uh, Dark Fiend Doku, maybe you need to turn your volume off. Just saying. Just saying. Uh, don't think it's me. We did do a lot of audio tweaking on last night's stream and I haven't changed anything. So just double check that you've got your speakers turned up. A parking spot. So what should I do with this map? I talk about XG when the game is getting released I found them awesome. I too found them awesome. Awesome I did. The knife and the fork are going to be the map. Uh, procurement points have been marked on your map. Okay. So, come on, guys, give me some guidance. Uh, oh, there is. I need to eat by the way. Have a look at the menu. Oh. Okay. Ooh, attack boost. Yeah, I need to earn some money, guys. Yeah, I need to earn some money. Middle one that says talk. Prick that. Okay. Let me back. Where are uh, That's eat. That's talk. What's this? Hunt. Oh, yeah. Let's hunt. These are some pretty Let's hunt. Customers. Join the hunt? Ooh, join the hunt. Yes, you have, indeed, uh, Isabel. You, Isabel, have virtually, through the power of Twitch, met the Death Eater. Virtual high five. Do I want to join the hunt? Joining the hunt sounds interesting. And I'm thinking, no. There is no new information. This is the talk one. Yeah, grab the mod, you don't have to do the mod in one go. Uh... Think you're up to the task? Ooh. Mindside mischief makers hunt commenced. Your current bounty only comes out at night. Oh, I see. This will be tough. Hey, nothing's assassin. Uh, well, thank you, sir. Arise as you were. I'm off duty. I haven't got the crown on. You can just call me, uh, call me Reggie. Ooh, well, uh, uh, I'm just grinning and flapping my arms. Uh, I'm just imagining you, Isabel, grinning and flapping your arms. And you know what? It's a beautiful sight. It's a beautiful sight. I'm glad that you are pleased. I'll stick with the curtsy. Yeah, you can curtsy. That's fine. And I will salute you. Salute your curtsy. Oh, man. I've got tea. Hang on. And... <laughs> it was a lot cooler on Father's Day. Wow, guys, 17 viewers. I was hoping to get to 20, but 17 is okay. And then U17 will spread the word over the next few days. The myth will grow. The stories will be repeated. And the droves will come to the Real King Reads channel. Right, one more, and then I'm going to uh, start one. Good luck to you. 
Hey, gosh, 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 dongles. Uh, thank you for hosting. Yeah, I know, it's creepy, isn't it? It's like Ghost Dad. I am Ghost Dad. Ooh, Noctis. I'm haunting you. <laughs> it's creepy because Noctis thinks that, you know, what was the, um, there used to be a TV show, so called reality TV, where uh, a bunch of kids would go on holiday to a Mallorca or Ibiza uh, or wherever, and the parents would secretly go with them at, with the with the film or with the TV show and watch them and they'd see everything that they did. I feel like this is a little bit like that. Um, <laughs> Noctis, I've sent him off with his mates. Nah, yeah, Noctis, mate, here's the car. You and your mates go off and have a laugh. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about me. Yeah, no, you know, what happens away stays away. And then via me, I'm kind of spying on him the whole time. I love it, it's great. Yeah, I, I, I have no idea what hosting means. I mean, I, I, it's probably great, and, I, and it should probably happen more, and it's probably a very good thing. Uh, but other than that... Welcome. Oh, what's he got to say for himself now? What would you like? Oh, wow, guys, 22! 22! 22! Boom! Uh, I, tomorrow I'm going to try and set up one of those alerts in Streamlabs OBS so that when someone joins the stream I get a little animation going yay uh, I haven't worked out how to do that yet uh, okay I'm coming out of here so how do I do a hunt how do I how do I it means your stream is on my channel ah I see so you're restreaming my stream forget it you see I love it when you learn a new thing like that so it happens every now and again, you're on Twitter or something, and you see a word used. It happened to me, or it's happened to me a couple of times. You see a word used in a phrase, and I'm like, oh, I don't know what that word means. And then you Google it, and then you find out what it means, and then you start seeing it around, and then you know what it means. I mean, I know what hosting means, but in the context of Twitch, I now know that there are a couple of people whose channel is just restreaming me. I love that. Thank you, guys. Guys, thank you. So how do I go? How do I go on one of these hunts? Select it on the big map. Big map. So, uh, uh, big map. Big map. What do they look like? What do hunts look like? Do they look like the logo that the hunt thing had? Food spot. Ice spell. So, so if I say fangirling, would you know what that means? Yes. Fangirling, I know. I regularly fangirl myself. Um, who did I fangirl over recently? Do, 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 do. Oh, I was doing a Comic Con and I was sat next to Patricia Quinn, who was magenta in Rocky freaking horror. And I was kind of fangirling all day because I'm sat next to magenta. Um, I think it's the quest menu just before the big map screen. Okay, going back. Quest menu, this this one here. Yay! Oh. Okay, how do I how do I do it? Hey! Insulin. I'm possibly dead, yeah. It was the Sean Bean part of King Regis that died, not the John Campion part. Yellow ones are hunts. Yeah, how do I select them though? I'm selecting it. I'm selecting it, look. I'm selecting it. Bosh. 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 Ain't nothing happening. Oh, I, that's the thing. Right, so I select it here, and that, that doesn't make it happen. I remember this with the other quest. And then I go uh, to the car. Let's... Yeah, yeah, like I did last night. I know, I know. Oh, let me get out the diner. Is that the door? Get out of my way! Uh, 
uh, guys, how's, what do you think of the lighting today? Uh, anyone who was with me yesterday knows I had disco lighting yesterday. Uh, the disco lighting may come back. If you go back and look at yesterday's stream, you can see the disco lighting for yourself. Uh, but today I thought I would go more... The roads are well, less right. disco, basically. But I do like a little bit of colour. Boom. Yeah. So the colours are just kind of shifting in. So we've got blue on that side. And we've got uh, yellow on that side at the moment. Blue on that side, yellow on that side. So blue, yeah, blue on this side, good. yellow on this side. So uh, they come out at night, right? They mostly come out at night. Mostly. So uh, I've got to drive the car myself. Uh, hey, Isabel. No, sadly, I did not get to meet Alan Rickman. Sadly. Um, the, the, the work that I did on Harry Potter was kind of, it had pros and cons. The, the pro was that I'm in my own scene, so when I stopped the Hogwarts Express, that's just me stopping the train, so uh, the, the downside of that, or the con, is that it means I didn't get to meet many other actors. Uh, Neville Longbottom, uh, what's his name? Uh, I, did, I did get to meet Ray Fiennes very briefly, and Jason Isaacs very briefly, and Helena Bonham Carter. I spent a whole day with Helena Bonham Carter. Uh, yeah, manual at night time, you can run there on foot, it, not far, but, but more dangerous on foot, as you found. Yeah, okay, so manual. Uh, rating Hyperion, uh, thank you for the lighting. Oh, look. Camera's crashed. He's crashed, he's crashed. No problem, huh? Boo, I'm back. So for those new to the stream today, uh, I'm using my smartphone as my camera. It's my Pixel XL, which is USB to my PC. And I'm running uh, an app on the PC, client app and a server app called DroidCam, which turns the smartphone camera into a virtual webcam, which I can then add to uh, the Streamlabs OBS. Um, advantage being, much better camera than a webcam. Disadvantage being, Droid cam crashes sometimes, and it means I can't use my phone to tweet while I'm streaming. Yeah, Jason Isaacs was lovely. He picked up my cloak uh, to stop me getting blood on it, uh, and then got blood on his hand and was a little bit nicked. But I thought it was hilarious. Uh, right, so I don't know how to drive the car. Uh, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, okay, this is terrifying. I can't really see anything. Oh yeah, it's not far, is it? Yeah, they do explain, but you know, to look at that, I can't look at the road. Oh, you turn, brake, reverse, accelerate. I just need to accelerate. I just need the accelerator, that's all I need. Ooh, moody blue light now. Okay, now I'm just going to... Oh, have I gone too far? Wow, that U-turn's serious, isn't it? Oh, well, I have a lovely autograph. Um, am I going the right way? You bought mine on eBay. Oh, wow. That was you, was it? I wondered who bought that. <laughs> I don't want to park. I'm trying to get to this quest point. Ah, oh, man, so difficult. Yeah, heading away from it now. I can just—I can feel you rolling your eyes, Chief. I can feel your eye roll. Ah, oh, it's going. It's, it's telling me to park. I don't want to park. It's just saying park. I can't see the marker anymore. Didn't I head out this way? Wasn't it this way? I'm confused. Yeah, damn right. Where's my driver?
Am I still heading away? I'm confused. I thought I went this way. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll do a Yui, but... Oh, I see smoke rising. Um, well, that's, that's an easier view. Now, this car, this car handles like a, like a building. Why does he want me to park? Uh, I'm just going to park because it just keeps telling me to park. I need to turn the in game camera to the side to see how far away from I don't know. Uh, it just keeps saying park, 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 park. Catch your breath. Oh, man, stay in the car, boys. Oh, hey, uh, DFD. Awesome. So, I just literally back where I started. A complete waste of 10 minutes. Yeah, just run on foot. I took I that guy a few times. Returning circles. Right. No, I don't want to talk. I don't want to do that either. I don't understand. So, uh, when I first when I first left the hotel, whatever it is, I could see the thing telling me how far to go, and it was like 800 yards, and now it's gone. So, so who was more fun to mocap? Uh, between King Regis and Arden. Arden was more fun, uh, as in literal fun. And King Regis was incredible, incredibly fun, because it was challenging and hard and difficult, and there was a lot of pressure to get it right. And, you know, I knew I knew the character was meant to have gravitas and and but you know and, and power and authority and status, but also be um, you know likable and accessible and human. As it were, um, so so, and he doesn't do much. There isn't much to do to get all that across. Uh, so so so, King Regis was really, really, really challenging, which was fun. But Arden was just fun. You know? <laughs> um, it was dropped on me as well. So I wasn't originally cast as Arden as well. Um, um, we were a little bit a little way into shoot into shooting when I was asked if I would do the mocap for Arden. Um, no, no, uh, that was my first mocap. First mocap, so real, uh, in at the deep end, four weeks, uh, four weeks of solid mocap pretty much. It, it was staggered, but a week solid, then another week. Um, uh, I may as well pause the game. Let's leave the game here. So I've got 15 minutes left, guys. Um, so, um, uh, we'll do a little Q and A. Uh, not really, not really much to play the game when I've only got an hour to stream. So uh, let's just enjoy the mood lighting and have a little chat, shall we? Hello, hello, peeps. Everyone sitting comfortably. John's going to tell a story about mocapping. Um, so yeah, uh, so if you've all seen Kingsglaive, which I assume you've had, you know the the scene where Arden um, turns up, where the Chancellor turns up uh, to the palace. So I'd already I'd already mocapped the King Regis part of that, sat high up on the throne, looking down, imagining this this um, this interesting character, uh, and I'd been told you know what what he was going to be like. And then two I think two days later, um, I was being Arden, it, as we did the flip side of that scene, and they were playing back my audio from the day before as King Regis in in the, in the little duo. Um, but they the end of one day they took me to one side and said would I, would I, could I do Arden the next day? So they gave me that script, that little speech, um, um, uh, but allow me to stand on ceremony and introduce myself nonetheless. Arden Azunia, Chancellor of Niflheim, at your service, etc, etc. They gave me that speech, uh, I went home and learnt it and put together some moves that I thought would work. Um, they wanted him, you know, flamboyant, doffing the cap and Obviously, he's got the big feather on his arm. 
Um, and yeah, turned up the next day, showed them what I'd done, uh, and they loved it, and we, we went with it. Uh, my favourite bit was the, uh, the bit where he does this, where he brings his finger together. Uh, well, Princess, fair Princess Luna Freya, and Prince Noctis, are to be wed. Because um, uh, I just made that up at home the night before, you know, while I was trying out his moves and trying to link some moves and flamboyant moves to the dialogue. Um, uh, so I loved when I saw the first trailer and they, they actually edited on that point as he brings his fingers together in the first trailer. That was one of my most rewarding moments of my career, actually, um, having created that, put it together at short notice and then have it in the trailer. Um, so all it was a lot of fun, a lot of fun to do. Um, and I, I walk up a lot of steps, right? But in the, in the mocap studio, the, the, the wooden block of steps that we actually used was only about eight steps. So every eight steps, I had to stop my line, go back to the bottom and walk up again. Um, the things you have to do in mocap. Uh, I only just put that scene in my showreel. So if you track down my showreel, um, you can go to www.johncampton.com uh, and then go to IMDb or Spotlight uh, and see my showreel. I've just edited that scene in, so there's a, a, a re-edited version of that Arden uh, and King Regis meeting in my showreel. So I'm very proud of that because that's both me and I never really thought I'd get to do that. So uh, thank you Square Enix for giving me the gift of playing two characters in the same scene. Uh, Cool. Uh, any other? Any other? Any other questions? Any other question for Monsieur Camplin before I have to go? Yeah, trash chancellor. Oh, that is indeed brilliant. Ratings Hyperion, brilliantly bad. Um, I love the fact as well that because it's not my face, it's not obvious. So I love being able to tell people. Um, uh, I have a thing in Harry Potter. The, the thing I told you earlier about. The fact that I'm hunting and I'm the, gut, I'm the, the death is to kidnap Luna Lovegood. No one knows that. That's not common knowledge. Um, because they gave Neville the line, he's not here, um, Luda. So obviously the he would refer to Harry Potter. So Neville thinks I'm looking for Harry. So the rest of the kids on the train think that. And then the rest of the audience thought that. But in actual fact, I'm looking for Luna Lovegood. So that little kind of misdirection that they put in means I can travel the world telling Harry Potter fans individually, no, no, I was looking for Luna Lovegood because I kidnapped Luna Lovegood. Um, and I kind of have a similar thing with Arden, that no one, no one, unless you look at the credits, you wouldn't know it was me doing Arden. And I'm King Regis, so it's, that's kind of a, again, a little wrong footer. Why would the actor who did King Regis also do Arden? It doesn't really make sense. Um, uh, well done, Isabel, I'm glad you knew, paying attention. Um, so I get to tell people that I was Arden as well, and I love the look on their face when they're just kind of getting over meeting King Regis, and then I tell them I was Arden as well. Man, that is a sweet feeling. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know if any of you saw my tweet the other day. One of the most bizarre things that, that I think about as well is the fact that it makes me believe in destiny. You know, I mean, I don't, I don't not believe in destiny, but it makes me kind of really believe in destiny uh, momentarily. The fact that in my career, my two sort of, you know, real kind of exciting high points in my career have been, in terms of publicity and size of projects, have been Harry Potter and Final Fantasy, obviously. And in, Har in Harry Potter, I play a very evil character who uh, is quite cool and wears black and uh, is on a mission to harm a character called Luna. Um, uh, and then five, six years later, my second big thing, uh, King Regis, a very, very good character who also dresses in black and looks pretty cool, um, who's on a mission to protect a character called Luna. <sighs> what? Crazy, right? Uh, do, 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 do. Let's have a look what you've been saying. Uh, do you prefer doing live action stuff on mocap from Rating Hyperion? Uh, how does it feel technically playing both roles since they're opposite characters? So, uh, uh, UK and non the twin. Uh, technically, it was really, it was, it was really exciting. Um, oh wow, double red, double red lights. Look at this. <sighs> oh man. There we go. 
uh, technically, uh, it was challenging, you know, so I love being challenged. Uh, that's why I'm really enjoying setting up this Twitch stream because it's really challenging me to have to learn a lot of new stuff like that. So, um, uh, technically, it was it was challenging. Mocap is just technically challenging anyway from the moment you're on set uh, or in the, in the volume. It, it, it's just challenging because nothing is anything like it should be. You know, you are, it's all in your head, all in your imagination. You are dealing with technical, um, uh, what's the word? Technical, uh, I can't think of the right word. There's a really good word that I need. Uh, technical and practical um, things that make it harder for you to be the character. You know, like for King Regis, um, A, you're in a mocap suit. You're in a mocap suit. That doesn't help. You don't look or feel like King Regis. Uh, I've got no beard, I'm wearing a hat, I've got a helmet on, the three cameras, I've got little white balls all over me. There's no set, you've got to imagine everything. The, 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 the helmet gets in the way. Uh, the other actors have got helmets. Technically, you're te it's almost like rubbing your head and doing your, your, your tummy. Physically, technically, you're doing one thing in one environment, but kind of in your head, in your imagination, you're doing something completely different as somebody else in that environment. Um, so technically, fascinating. Uh, the, uh, oh, the other question, what was the other question? Do, 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 wait till Siberian. Oh, uh, I think you played them both because they're family members, anyways. After all, yes, 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 yes. Uh, do you prefer doing live action stuff on mocap? There's a question. Uh, I like them both as much, really. You know, I like technology, so I felt very at home um, in a mocap studio. Felt like I was acting for NASA. I mean, you know, you've got all this telemetry flying around. You're just capturing data points, hundreds of data points, hundreds of times a second. Uh, through infrared, I just love that idea, you know, um, that you're carving something in a virtual world. Um, so I loved doing mocap, um, partly because it was difficult, felt like a challenge. But live action, you know, um, going to a real location, a real, or going in a studio and seeing a set, I love that as well. Um, just like theatre, you know, I love theatre as well, a live audience, you know, but knowing the minute you walk on stage, you've got to complete the whole show for an hour. You can't be yourself until an hour later. You've got to be someone else. Scary stuff, man. Um, so yeah, I and and to me, you know, mixing it up, you know, modelling one day, mocap another day, voiceover, theatre. I just want to do a little bit of everything on a cycle because um, that keeps you sane, man. Uh, have I ever considered doing going to a con cosplaying as King Regis? Yeah, I've considered it many, many times. Um, other people have cosplayed Regis very well, though. You know, I, I, and I feel possibly I should leave my my version of King Regis as where is it as as this guy, okay? Because you know, it looks pretty good. I, I wouldn't live up to that in real life. Having said that, I am considering cosplaying a uh, what I'm, I've been having buff Regis, buff as in hench rather than uh, naked um, <laughs> it should be very wrong um, so uh, some of you follow me will know I've been working out recently I'm trying to get a little bit bigger trying to you know secure some roles playing slightly scarier characters with a, a better physique um, and of course as always you know the, the Witcher TV series coming up who knows I have a little bit of Witcher about me um, but just generally I want to get bigger um, and then it obviously it crossed my mind that if I get bigger, that means King Regis technically gets bigger. So I may one day cosplay King Regis if I get the wig. I've already got the face, right? I take that everywhere. So if I put a King Regis wig on, uh, and then maybe uh, topless with some King Regis shorts, I could be beach King Regis quite easily. So that might happen. <laughs> Buff Regis. What have we got here? Fantastic. Cool. So we're into the last five minutes, guys. Five minute warning. Five minute warning. Five minute warning. Uh, we should start wrapping it up. This has technically been a test stream for me because I made some changes. Um, any feedback? Uh, we like the lighting. 
uh, look at that, it's lovely green and uh, pink now, so we've got the, the pink light over there and the, and the green light over there. Uh, in fact, guys, I'm going to show you, okay, because my phone's just clicked in to a, into an arm. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to spin it around. So this is what I can see, there we go, we've got a light there. I got a light there. These are my um, photographic lights. I just turned all the uh, white lights out and just replaced it with one LED, uh, one um, Bluetooth LED. So there's, there's you guys, there's my, there's my chat. There's you guys. Woo! Uh, and there's the game. Uh, there we go. And the rest of the room is dark. Beyond there, there is nothing. There's just the dark room. Um, uh, I, I, eventually, I'm going to get uh, I'm going to get uh, you know a little clip-on gooseneck affair up here with a light here, boo, and with a light here, so I won't have big, big lights. Uh, that was just my my first attempt, just to proof of concept, as we say. That was my proof of concept, and I have indeed proved the concept. Concept works. Oh, look, I messed all that up now. Boo! You can see my banner. There we go. Yeah, I like to stream in darkness. Um, it's just me in the studio, right? Although I do go back and look at yesterday's stream where I had the disco on, because that was pretty cool as well. So I will always have interesting lighting. I've got many, many. I've got another light over there, and I've got another light in, in the living room. So I'm going to experiment with different colored lighting. Um, I'm a photographer, so I'm very interested in, in the lighting. And I just feel if you're going to put a camera on something, you should light it, make it look pretty. Uh, so that's what I will do. Uh, okay, uh, UK. Uh, my friend Jess wants to know if you find it creepy to see yourself in King Regis. Why would I find that creepy? Ask Jess, how does she mean? It's not creepy, it's weird. Uh, so yeah, when I, when I see this, this face, which is clearly my face, but also not my face, but it looks so real, it looks to me like I did a photo shoot dressed as that, but I never wore that costume. Best costume I've never worn. So it's not creepy, but it is weird. It is a little bit disconcerting. I mean, I'm used to it now, um, but it is a little bit weird. Uh, oh yeah, surprise Square that you keep that. Uh, yeah, no, Square are great. Square are lovely. They sent me, um, have any of you seen the, um, oh look, we're going red and blue now. Okay guys, uh, that's my hour up, but I will just finish. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's a freestanding banner, it's good. It's the banner that I take to Comic Cons. Um, uh, so, yeah, so Square sent me, uh, I got a package a while ago, um, uh, it was from Square Enix, and it had the, um, the King Regis bust in it. So, they sent me one of the King Regis busts. I then bought another four myself, so I have five of those. Uh, maybe that's a bit creepy. Um, <laughs> Right, guys, uh, thank you so much for joining in. Um, next time, uh, hopefully, I'm probably gonna stream again uh, early next week. Uh, I'm away a lot the weekend, but early next week, I wanna get back on and do another stream. And do quite a long one, you know, do two, three hours, you know, really get stuck into the game, have a little bit of chat at the beginning, a little bit of chat at the end, but really get stuck into the game, and make some progress. So thank you guys for, um, uh, for hanging out with me. Uh, I'm just looking how I'm gonna how I'm gonna close this down. Uh, thank you guys for hanging out with me. It's been an absolute pleasure. Love the questions. Always a pleasure to talk about everything that went into making Final Fantasy and King's Blade, and of course, always a pleasure to talk about Harry Potter. Um, so uh, yeah, Isabel, if you're still there, thank you. Uh, message me next time you see me online, or send me a tweet, uh, and we'll try and get you to join. Uh, uh, Byzantine, uh, the Blue Pixie, UK, uh, Rating Hyperion, who was streaming themselves yesterday, Tunaka, thank you for guiding me with the game, uh, Filipina Panda, love it, Spirit Muse, thank you, uh, Dark Theme Goku, that's all the names that I can see, uh, yeah, Papa Daddy Regis, uh, remember guys, uh, whatever you do, just be yourselves, be lovely to everybody, and above all else, walk tall. Good night.